Very often you need an outlining system on your spreadsheet. In this case, we have sales in 2011, 2012, quarter one, etc. for four, three continents. And we would like an outlining system there. And you can do that automatically if you follow the rules that the table has no empty rows or columns. If you have a hierarchy of data, let's say years and then split in quarters or a, a, a company split in departments, etc. And another important rule is that you need consistent summary formulas. I could, for instance, find on this sheet all the formulas and here you see the consistent formulas in the background. So I'm going to uh, apply automatic outlines from the, the data tab, group, an automatic outline system. And you will see that you got two levels. If I click on one, I see only the subtotals. Unfortunately, I cannot see now which subtotals that were. So I want in all the data from column A and B to put in there the value from above. So let's do that for A and B. We are going to look for all the blank cells. Find and select. Go to special, the blanks. And we select all the blank cells in those columns. The active cell is now B2, so I'm going to say in B2 equals the cell above me. And I put that in all the selected cells. You do that with Control Enter. And it will put all the values in there. So now when I go to level 1, I will see that that is the grand total for quarter 1 in 2011, etc. So... Auto outlining works fine when you follow the rules. Very often those rules have not been applied. So in this case, for instance, I have no subtotals. So for that reason, I do have a hierarchy of data, but I have to do this manually. So what you have to do is you have to say, I want row two and three to be outlined. You can do that through data group, group. Then you have to do it for five and six. It, it is much more work. Instead of going to that menu all the time, you could also do the shortcut shift, alt, arrow to the right. Shift, alt, arrow to the right. Do it again for the next set. Shift, alt, arrow to the right. Shift, alt, arrow to the right. And you will see that it does that perfectly. And if you want to get rid of it, you just click anywhere in your listing, ungroup and clear the outline. It's still a lot of work. So you probably want to consider to do that with a VBA code. So I put code in here under control shift o the one level option and this is the simple code we declare an object type variable of the range type a counter i is an integer or a long and we talk to the current region of the active cell. Now A1 is the active cell. Anywhere I click inside this thing, the current region goes from the between the top empty row and the bottom empty row and the left empty column and the right empty column. It's the current region. With and with set O select to from the current region dot from the co collection of columns, column two, that is column B. Give me only the special cells according to the type constant. So it is going to actually select only the constants in there. Then we loop through O select is now a range of different areas. Let me show you what it would be like. If I select here B and I'm going to home 
find and select and I only want the constants those are the constants now so it has one two three four areas so I'm going to loop through those areas for i equals one two o select areas dot count in this case four take the first area the second area etc and the entire row group it I'm going to run that subroutine with control shift o Control shift o and it did automatically what you had asked for the problem is when you have multi levels like in this case america and two countries and then two cities in those countries so we have three levels so if you want to do this manually and you probably have to because there is no in between calculation I have to go from the inner side to the outer side, so I have to do it for 3 and 4, Alt, Shift, Arrow to the right, and then do it for 6 and 7, Alt, Arrow to the right, etc, etc. And then, finally, you do it for all of America, Control, Shift, Arrow to the right. So now we have two levels, actually three. I didn't do it for all the other ones, but that would be the same idea. Okay, so you work from the inner side to the outer side. You would do first 10 and 11, all shift to the right, again for Holland and Italy, and then finally for Europe. If you want to do it automatically, your formula and your work will get a little more complicated. In this case, I created a sub two levels. So I talk again to the current region of the active cell with and with. And first, I do the inner side. Set O select to column three, that is column C, that is the cities. This time I look for the constants. I loop through all the areas until I reach the last area and I do the entire row group activity. Then I do that again for column one. This time I look for the blanks in there. So A2, A3, A4, etc. That is the first area, then the second area, A9 through A17, etc. The rest is basically the same so all i have to do now is run the subroutine Control shift t and it did all the work in a split second i will let you practice with this on your own it is one of the many issues that you can handle with VBA. You will probably realize how powerful VBA is. The manual work is a lot of work. VBA does it much better, but you have to learn a little how to work with VBA. So I developed two CD-ROMs. The left one is for general Excel users that want VBA. The right one is just for the Excel user that doesn't want to learn VBA. Just do things manually or do it automatically with auto outlining. In the VBA CD-ROM you will find three parts that discuss all the issues mentioned in this listing. Where do you find all of this? At genesispc.com and my name is Gerard Verschuren. I wish you good luck.